بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. Continuing on in our treaties, uh, our study of the treaties عقيدة واسطية by Sheikh Islam ibn Taymiyyah uh, رحمه الله تعالى. We reached the chapter in the text and we're still referring to those uh, verses, those uh, sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which are mentioned in the Quran. Uh, Sheikh Islam mentioned the verses regarding the attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He is with His creation, that Allah, the Almighty, is with His creation. So we're going to look very quickly about the two types of ma'iyah, ma'itillah, and what that means for us and what we need to understand from that. And we're going to try to be a little bit more concise in the next few durus, so that way we can uh, eventually finish the text and move on to other uh, other uh, texts that will bring about us, bring about benefit for us, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for our many sins, and bless us with ikhlas, with thabat. Qawluhu uh, ta'ala, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, so see, these are the attributes which mention uh, some some of the ayats which mention the ma'iyatillah, that Allah is with His creation. وَقَوْلُهُ هُوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ فِي سِتَّةِ أَيَامِ ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى عَلَىٰ عَرْشِ يَعْلَمُ مَا يُولِجُ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَمَا يَخْرُجُ مِنْهَا وَمَا يَنْزِلُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ وَمَا يَعْرُجُ فِيهَا وَهُوَ مَعَكُمْ عَيْنَ مَا كُنْتُمْ وَاللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ بَصِيرٌ ما يكون من نجوى ثلاثة إلا هو رابعهم ولا خمسة إلا هو سادسهم ولا أدنى من ذلك ولا أكثر إلا هو معهم أينما كانوا ثم ينبئهم بما عملوا يوم القيامة إن الله بكل شيء عليم وقوله لا تحزن إن الله معنا وقوله إني معكما أسمع وأرى وقوله إن الله مع الذين مع الذين اتقوا والذين هم محسنون وقوله واصبروا إن الله مع صابرين وقوله كل كم من فئة قليلة غلبت فئة كثيرة بإذن كثيرة بإذن الله والله مع الصابرين. In these verses, these verses of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, Allah Tabarak wa Taala says. He it is who created the heavens and the earth in six days and then rose above his throne, Estoa, Allah rose above his throne in a manner that suits his majesty. He knows what goes into the earth and what comes forth from it, what descends from the heaven and what ascends thereto. And he is with you by his knowledge wheresoever you may be. And Allah is the all-seer of what you do. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, there is no najwa, secret counsel of three, but he is their fourth with his knowledge. Uh, nor of nor of five, but he is their sixth. Not of less than that or more, but he is with them, wheresoever they may be. And afterwards, on the day of resurrection, he will inform them of what they did. Verily, Allah is the all-knower of everything. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Be not sad, surely Allah is with us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Verily I am with you both, hearing and seeing. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Truly Allah is with those who fear Him. And those who are muhsanun, meaning the good, do, good, good doers, the people of righteousness. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And be patient, surely Allah is with those who are sabirin, those who are patient. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, How often a small group overcame a mighty host by Allah's leave. And Allah is with the sabirin, Allah is with those who are patient. In these verses, these beautiful verses of the Quran, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with al-nafi, ruskin tayyibu, amal al and bless us to understand uh, His verses and practice them. Ya Rabbil Alameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes clear for us His ma'iyah, that He subhanahu wa ta'ala possesses, uh, part, one of His divine attributes is the ma'iyatillah, that He is uh, with His creation. What does this mean? Ma'iyah is of two types. The ma'iyah, uh, the general ma'iyah, the general way in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with His creation. This comprehends all the creatures, meaning those who believe and those who disbelieve. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His knowledge encompasses everything. He is full knowledge and power. And 
nothing is hidden from him, nor anything can render Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helpless. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the all-powerful. Uh, this is the way in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, has mentioned in several, like in the first verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, He it is who created the heavens and earth in six days and then rose above his throne. He knows what goes into the earth and what comes forth from it, what is, descends from the heaven and what ascends uh, there too. And he is with you wheresoever you may be. So this shows us in that verse, and those verses they explain one another. They are the tafsir. Uh, this is tafsir al Quran bil Quran. It, we, we, we understand from this that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us in his knowledge. In that very verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirms for himself that he is the all-seer of what you do. N letting us know that this ma'iyah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with his creation, is through his knowledge. That he hears us, he sees us, he knows everything about us, he sees and hears everything that we do. وَهُوَ سَمِيُّ بَصِيرٌ لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٌ وَهُوَ سَمِيُّ بَصِيرٌ وَهُوَ سَمِيُّ بَصِيرٌ that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's nothing comparable to him. And he is the all uh, he is the all hearing, the all seeing. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us by seeing us, by hearing us, and with his knowledge subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that verse affirms for us that general ma'iyah, the ma'iyah that whatever is contained in the heavens and earth. Everything that is created, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees it. He has power over everything, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And He is with you where, wherever you are. And there is nothing that is hidden from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the general type of ma'iyah that was illustrated in the first couple of verses. And then those other verses, they show us, they illustrate us for the second type of ma'iyah. The second type is the ma'iyah which is ma'iyya khas, meaning the special ma'iyya, the ma'iyya which is reserved for the believers. And th those other verses that we mentioned, the rest of the verses, they illustrate and affirm for us this special type of ma'iyya. In other words, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with His messengers. He's with alayhim after salatu salam, His friends, those, those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took His khalila. Uh, in companionship, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with them, He guards them. This ma'iyah means that He gives them support. He helps them against their enemies. He uh, loves them because of their obedience to Him and because of their, their, their calling to the worship of Allah alone, not calling to their hizbiyah, not calling to themselves, not calling to their party or their group or their sect or their aqidah, but they're calling to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Allah loves them. Allah loves the 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 the, 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 the messengers. Alayhim after salatu salam. All of those messengers who came before the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammad alayhi salatu salam. Allah loves them all. And He loves Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because they all called to the oneness of Allah. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَلَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولًا إِنْ يَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَجْتَنِبُوا تَغُودٍ And we sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone, and stay away from those things, uh, worship besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is one of the reasons why they are the awliya of Allah. They are the beloved ones of Allah, the friends of Allah, those who are supported and protected by Allah. Why? Because they did their job. And their job, their, their, their duty was to call the people, to call their, their people to the worship of Allah alone. and. The, call their people to stay away from those things, those, de those deities worship besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all the messengers, alayhim after the salatu salam, they did this. Regardless of how successful, some had different degrees of success than others, but they all fulfilled their divine, their divine calling. And none of them had any shortcomings with regards to this. It's that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave some of them more success in their call than others. Some of them uh, were able to guide only one person from their ummah. Some 
some of them were, a, were not able to guide any people from their ummah. They called to the truth and they gave beautiful preaching. They had the best of manners and the best of conduct and the, they were the best of examples. But their people's hearts were so hard and they were in such disobedience and they hated uh, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded them with and they were wicked, evil sinners. And they wanted to persist in their evil and their sin and their desires instead of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. So then they rejected the messengers and they killed the Anbiya alayhim salatu, uh, alayhim after salatu salam. So the messengers, this is what made them the awliya. And this is how they had the ma'iyah, the ma'iyah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala supported them. So a part of this ma'iyah khas is that those, those, those who are blessed to have this special type of ma'iya, they have the support of Allah. They have the protection of Allah. They have the love of Allah and the assistant of Allah, the assistance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they have uh, those that were messengers. They have the revelations of Allah. They, they were given the divine speech of Allah to to. Uh, recite and give to their people as a message so that they could practice and better themselves. So this type of ma'iyah is only reserved for the believers. So again, ma'iyah is of two types. There's the ma'iyah for for the general uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation in general, that He has full knowledge of us, He created us, uh, He s sustains us, sustains all of His creation. And then there's the ma'iyya khas, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only gives to the believers, those people who Allah loves, that He supports them. He gives them love and assistance, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in those verses, those who are the muttaqeen, those who fear Allah and do righteous deeds, those are some of the people who receive the ma'iyatillah, the muttaqeen, the muhsineen, those people who have ihsan, that they worship Allah as if they see Him. And the fact that they, they don't see Him, they uh, uh, know that He sees them. Those people who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on that level, the muhsineen, so Allah loves the muttaqeen, the muttaqeen, wa muhsineen. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the sabirin. Those people are patient, as Allah mentioned in the verse, those verses that we already read, that those are the people, those are from the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those are the characteristics of the awliya, of those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves, and those people who receive the ma'iyatillah, uh, that 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 uh, that special support and love from Allah, and may Allah bless us to be of those who uh, receive the ma'iyati, his ma'iyati, uh, his ma'iyah khas. May Allah subhanahu wa taala bless us with that, and may Allah protect us from being those people uh, who are despised by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and who do not receive his, his mercy. May Allah continue to bestow his blessings upon us and forgive us and bless us to come closer to him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.